what's going to happen is if you don't do that, you're going to be in a situation where, you know, you're going to be like these kids have been playing for like five, six years and still suck at the game mechanically because they never learned these tricks. They never cared about efficiency. Being, being new is hard. Stop command talk. So go yeah. to uh, player movement. Okay. See that player stop position where it's an S? Click that. The button that's on the side of your mouse at the, the, the fat part of your thumb towards the towards where your hand is. Hands on it, yeah. Tap that button. Press Got OK. Right. OK. Move around and tap that button. Oh, and it holds me in place. Yeah. So look at my screen real quick when you can. I'm looking at it. So here's your problem right here. You're autoing and you're never stopping when you're farming. So when I'm having you push, you're pushing. And so like, oh, no, I'm going to miss this farm here. Right? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, oh, I'm going to... You, I'm gonna auto regardless, right? Well, sometimes yeah. you need to slow down. So you just tap this button and then right click. So okay. say say I want to farm, right? I just tap stop and look at the minions, like the animations. My eyes zoom in on the minion animations and watch like this. Okay. So That's what I do. Now I'm not trying to time it to when I land somewhere and it I automatically attack. I'm timing it to, all right, I stand, I land somewhere, hold the button, and then I hit. Yeah, so walk up and start pushing into this, uh, and just start autoing to push, but try to hit every minion as you do it. And just mix in the stop command. If it looks like it's not gonna, you're not, you need to auto the whole time though, or try to. And then if it looks like you're gonna miss, you just tap stop, and then there you go. Do you understand? Oh yeah, I can just tap stop, hold a second, and then yes. send it. This gives you more flexibility on how to farm because what's happening right now is that you're basically at the mercy of the rhythm that you've already set when you started auto attacking. Cause you're essentially, look at my screen. Essentially what you're doing is you're just like, all right, I'm pushing now watch Lux. Yeah. Right. You're just, been... you're just autoing. And then if I miss, I miss. Oh, well, right. Yeah. Because you're never stopping. So that's the first tip I give people and I can get you basically on the right habits right away. The next thing I teach people when they're starting out is, okay, so basically they're, they're players in gold and plat. Like if they use these tips that I'm telling you right now, their game would improve, even though they've played for a while. Because okay. they don't use they don't use stop commands, so they just miss they miss opportunities all the time. But the idea is when you're moving in this game, short movements like this are preferred when farming and stop command. Now, <clears throat> this is very important for a plethora of reasons. If you look at my screen again, another reason is say you recognize that you're about to miss an, a last hit because you went too early. You could just tap your stop command after and fix it. See that? Really? So watch, watch the auto. I'm canceling the auto with my stop command. Oh, okay. Like I'm turning it off. Look, there's no projectile flying. It's like you you're squeezing your your the right click first and then stop right after. There you go. You see that rhythm? It's also a cool way to BM people. It, the reverse is true too. Remember I drew those little circles? Yeah. Around the fucking around the dummies. Well, say you want to make a little movement to here, right? Well, you want to move here because you want to dodge a skill shot. But you need to quickly like adjust and auto somebody or do something, right? Well, the, what'll happen is people will accidentally try to click and then they'll right click and get stuck. And then you're in it, yeah. But if you just had it like a stop command, but you don't want to like you want to dodge, you know, maybe you want to dodge an ability that's here and dodge a skill shot coming this way. So it'd be something like this. You, you got a skill shot out. coming and then you've got an ability here, right? And you want to move to like here. Well, it's a pain in the ass to click perfectly, right? Because you click here and then you're stuck. You click here, you're stuck. You click here, you could be stuck, right? But if you just go like this and tap stop, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like a totally different, yeah. it's it's okay. basically a nudge button. You're, the next thing that you've got to fix now, and I'm over, I'm going to be overwhelming you with a lot of control. If you played Smash Brothers, then this is going to, you're going to basically appreciate this, I promise. Everything I'm teaching you is like game changing. So press A. A? Yeah. Left click the ground. Near a minion. I'm pressing A and left yeah. clicking next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now right click in the downtime. 
Now I'll show you a, a more actionable demo over here. Look at my screen. Okay. Say I need to kite, watch. Look at where my mouse is. Did you see that? Oh, okay. So you're not aiming at the dummy at all when you're kiting. So what it is, press escape, go to, to game at the left, scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so you have everything the same that I have. Okay, perfect. You're fine. I just wanted to make sure that you had uh, attack move on cursor selected. That's the, the main reason. The way I frame this up for people to understand the concept is right now, you have to manually, you're right clicking on people manually to hit them, right? Yeah. This yeah. is how accurate you have to be with your mouse, okay? Okay. This is a problem because we're humans. We're not AI. Do you understand? If I want to target somebody, I have to right click on them, right? Which is like this, right? I get a little hitbox to hit him. I guess it's a little bigger, right? But with A left click, right click, technically I can click anywhere in here now. Okay. Is this making sense yet? So when you click, uh, so a, if I go like this, look, it's just gonna hit the closest thing in the circle. Okay. Now, why is this important? Well, for one, there's two reasons. One, we're not robots, like I said, and I want to make sure that when I'm farming or waves like this, I don't want to have to click perfectly. I'd rather, if I need to hit this minion, right, and they're all together, I just go like that. Huh. Yeah. See what I mean? Okay. No chance that I'm stepping over. Yeah. Now, the next reason this is important is because what's going to wind up happening is when you get into a, when you get into a fight, this is what kept happening to you versus Yasuo. Yasuo walks up, and you want to fight him and you go just like this and get right on top of him and then fight. This yeah. would never happen if you use a left click, right click. Because you would just go like this. As soon as you see Lux animate, you right click. See? Yeah. See how my default is to right click this way. Another thing, if you look at this screen... What, I, what you need to learn is, a, you know, if you're new to real-time strategy games or strategy games in general, the way that League works is that downtime between auto attacks, you're allowed to move. The, the upbeat, right? There's a downbeat, downbeat's the auto. Downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat. You see what I'm saying? I can move yeah. between. I don't have to sit there, right? So if you mix that in with A left click, right click, it's downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, except you can move and you're keeping this indicator so that you are constantly, this is like a ruler, okay? This is like a visual aid. This is telling you that you're not fucking up. If you're on this line, you're not fucking up. Do you see this? Yeah. If you're autoing like this, the game tells you clearly that you're fucking up. This is not good. Yeah. This is good. Now, the next tip. You're probably wondering how I can see the indicator if I made you turn yours off. Go to abilities and summoner spells. Spell one, two, three, four. Start at spell mm -hmm. one, press shift Q. I click it and press shift Q. Shift W, shift E, shift R, press okay. What we just did is look at my screen. You now have the flexibility to choose. Just hold wow. shift and press the button. So now, why is this important? Sometimes you want to be absolutely precise. Say you have an example where I'm saying, hey, I need you to, to, to slow push. Well, you're afraid to use your, but you can only farm with your abilities, but you don't want to hit the whole wave if you're slow pushing, right? That's not good. You want to just yeah. hit maybe one minion. So guess what you get to do? You get to do something like this now. Okay, where you want to place it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to hit this minion and harass. You could be a god. Look at that. There's a guy there and here, right? You want to hit the minion and hit the enemy, but not hit these minions. These little techniques that I just showed you, all of these are super... Move your, move your uh, game around so you don't get kicked out. Yeah, yeah. okay. Press escape again. Escape. Go to interface. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Scroll towards where I'm at right here. Ability and tack display up, up a little higher. See that uh, show spell costs? Looking for it. Ability attack display. Show spell costs? Mm -hmm. yeah. Turn that on. Okay. Press okay. okay. 16, now, 16. now you have quick math as opposed to what you had before. Understand? Yep. Yeah. 
So now you can quickly see how much it's going to cost you. There's going to be a situation where you're running out of mana and you need to know what ability costs more. That's how you do quick math. These right now are the key the key things that I want you practicing. And when I tell people in coachings that I want them moving forward and back, you now have no excuse. You now know what that means. So when you're farming, this is how you need to be thinking. Like when you're kiting versus Yasuo, Yasuo is basically a test of whether or not you know spacing. Because when you fight him and you walk up, he's going to dash through and get on top of you. So you need to be able to throw your abilities and kite back and then walk forward and auto him just like this automatically. I want you going into this next game. I want the focus to be on using the stop command and I want the focus to be on using your indicator. A left click, stop. right click. Stop command and then A left click, right click. Yep, cool. that's literally it. That's where you're at right now. That's it. All right. This is true coaching. Because what's going to happen is if you do this first, you will warp and skill like so fast. Once you get these things down, you will start to see why I make him why why it's the way that I coach is because the ability to control the champion and to hit all your farm without risking like because basically people will farm and they'll be standing in the wave like this when they're supposed to be like this they'll miss their farm because they're clicking and misclicking everywhere yeah. because they have to be perfectly accurate instead of like me i don't have to be accurate i get to cheat see no this is this is perfect man thank you this mm -hmm. is like the star hop and like smash bros it absolutely dude it i i'm really yeah. glad that you know you have some sort of frame of reference for for nuances like this because a lot of people don't and they think that I'm just being annoying. Yeah, it's going to it's going to feel awkward for a while, but when you get it down, it, you're going to just be like there is no way I was playing this game the other way. Like there was no way. It was so funny because when I started doing coaching as a job, I had to kind of work backwards cuz I had always played real-time strategy games since I was a kid, so a lot of the mechanics came more natural to me than other people. And then once I started getting coaching clients, I realized that not everybody played real-time strategy games. Right? So no. <laughs> now you get people like You played what? Uh Pokémon. <laughs> that was like my main Yeah, but thing. that's not a real-time strategy game. Yeah. That's a turn-based. That's a turn-based like this is like Starcraft and all those games is very similar to this. This is the this is the growing pains, okay? This is training. This is exercise. Okay. Our goal isn't necessarily to win. If winning happens, great. I don't really give a fuck. Just like when yeah. I'm playing games and I say I'm limit testing this strat and like feeding half the time, right? All I care about right now is whether or not we are using a left click, right click, and if we're using our stop command often. So just use it, get comfortable clicking around and stopping. Like make that. And honestly, it was so funny. The first time I went to coach somebody, I was moving around and I was stopping because it was so ingrained into my muscle memory. And I couldn't explain to the student why I wasn't auto attacking for like five minutes. I was oh, like, wow. wait, what am I doing? Like, why am I not auto attacking? <laughs> you know what I mean? I would forgotten that I'd set that damn command that way. So yeah, there you go. And you should notice it right away that it keeps you at it keeps you at a reasonable distance and really try to abuse it and keep uh key and the next trick or the next step here is if he's pushing the wave try to push it too try to keep this position okay yeah because he he gets under fast yeah uh, try to move forward and back because you're playing towards the side very dangerous Get in more in line with the minions is what I tell people. Uh, I leveled up. Yeah, it's okay. It's it. okay. It's okay. And don't be afraid to like... Now right there, you're tanking the whole wave. That, that should have been an A left click moment. You're still to the side of the wave, which I hate. I want you behind it more. Behind Look it Look where more. the tower is. Like, this dirt path that you're sitting on, that's where you should be standing pretty much at all times. And you should be clicking forwards and backwards. Okay. He's corrupting pot now. Because you keep basically veering to the uh, the sides, which is not good. 
And okay. now try to incorporate while you have the downtime, try to sneak in maybe an auto on him. Like the downtime, there you go. And then switch back to the minions. But don't just shove them. Use Crumpy yeah, Pot. Oh, it's going to be very awkward. Yeah. But it's worth investing now. Because you're basically playing against somebody like myself who's going to do these things. Or people that you want to be able to pass faster, right? Yeah. I'd be farming with a left click, right click too, just to practice it. See how it's telling you exactly the range? You should Every fight time. for that that edge uh, the edge of the lane or the edge of the range. See right there when he runs at you, a left click, right click, right there. See how you're inside? Yeah, I see it. That's what you're looking for. Now go ahead, a left click, right click. Keep using it. That'll tell you that it's almost like a big warning sign that you're too close, right? Okay. Let's back up, let the wave crash and reset. Ooh. This is one of those things when you sleep on, it'll go a lot better too. Oh, uh, yeah. Like <laughs> instruments and stuff too. Yeah, I would push. I'd push. The Astro's rotating. I'd push. You can see him on the mini map. Yep, cue the whole thing is what I would do here. I'd use W as well. Also is coming back. All right, let's reset. Yeah, it's yeah, too man. obvious. Yeah, you gotta get behind tower. Now I know it's gonna be awkward as shit, but this is it, dude. Yeah, man, this is worse farm than before, but uh, I know it'll get better. Oh yeah, it will, it will. You essentially nailed it though. I'm really glad you made that connection. With Super Smash Brothers, they're not Super Smash Brothers. Uh, oh yeah, it is Super Smash yeah. Brothers. That's how. Like that, short yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly it. It's like all these little. It was what's it called? Like wave dashing. Uh, that too. <laughs> yeah, isn't that like a thing? I don't know much about it because I didn't play many fighters, but I am familiar. I would cue this whole wave. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It should feel more. It should start to feel like it's common sense when you're doing your thing. Yeah. Now you're going to eventually you're going to realize that like you don't have to do it all the time for every situation, but I use it a lot. Um, there you would E, you would ignite him, you win. Uh, yeah, you would ignite him and wiggle around. Now, depending on whether or not you hit that charm and dodge that ult, you got him. You got him whooped. Yep, yep, yep. When he was dashing at you with no wind wall, he was basically saying, kill me. Grab yeah, the amp tone. Comes out a little faster. So yeah. Honestly, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Get lost chapter. You can afford it now. He's only been playing for like six months. Okay, once you miss, you don't want any you don't want any part of it. Now your decision to go past him that way instead of going under him costs you your ult, which is your whole kit, essentially. Yeah. So what I would have done is when I saw Trundle, I would have walked down and around instead of above him to try yeah. to keep oh. our ult. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay corrupting I pot. yeah, I think the thing with the W Max is that it requires you to be kiting a little bit more smoothly than we are right now. Yeah. 
which is fine because you're still learning but as you get better at it you're going to be a, a basically improving on getting into people's space try to bait them to engage and then kite back okay because the movement speed does help for dodging abilities which yeah I have not <laughs> use your q on this use your q on the whole thing If you back right now, you're giving your tower away, which I don't like. Uh, Grab the blasting wand. It's not a big deal right now. What you need to start doing in this matchup is you need to start trying to, uh, once you get over this like mechanical hurdle that you're in. Yeah. And you start using this, these uh, concepts more and more. You need to, in this matchup, you need to just get into a kite war with the guy over and over again. Okay. Where you just, just walk up and just auto him and then kite back and walk up and auto him and kite back and just get used to how that feels. All right. Yep. And you miss, so you just are away. Are you dead? All right. I'm press B. Oh. Can't really do anything. Mm, pink. All right, let's go. Now, whenever Yasuo is throwing these tornadoes at you, you need to think 90 degree movements. Just draw a T in your head. Okay. Left and right. Yeah. Hard left, hard right. Uh, Like there, you're running straight back instead of side to side. Whenever you see that tornado. There you go. I looked like you were uh, trying it, but. I was trying to get into it, I guess, that time. See how he was able to get all the way up to you in that position? Yeah. It's because right now we're still in kiting, you know, we're, we're in the kiting uh, baby steps phase. Yeah. I'm excited, though. I'm excited now that you, you see the value. Yeah, we're gonna keep playing games like this. Try to uh, try to incorporate it. Yeah, it's not easy. <clears throat> it's not easy when you're starting. <laughs> but you're gonna be so happy you did this. And just the amount of pain that you're like right now, you're experiencing uh, the growing pains of um, it all. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> but you are, you have to understand that you're investing in something that most players don't. He's gonna dive through all the minions probably. An interesting lag. Oh, cool. Interesting. Cool. Well, cue the whole wave. I don't know how he killed him, but that's cool. I mean, he it was like he did no damage the whole time. It was so weird. You should R yeah. the wave in that spot at the end uh, for the push. Hard. Yeah, for the push yeah. Q. W quickly. Shouldn't be holding it. Just use it. Q quickly. So all these abilities have a lot of overlap. I'm noticing that with you. A lot of overlap. You get those abilities off quick, fast. Okay. Large rod, large rod first, more AP. Harder okay. to build, harder to build. It's not very often that you have 1250 gold on you. You need to spend that that way, not the other way. Okay. You can buy components the other way. There would have been an E from me. Alright. Uh, Stop command and focus. That's why you're whiffing. And stare at the fucking the animation. And all I'm having you do is just collect whatever farm is uncontested by your teammates and just getting big and catching back up. Yeah. The one thing that Yasmos will always have an advantage over you on is farming because their ability is easier to spam and easier to farm with and easier to last hit with. So you need to remember oh. that the way to beat these types of champions is kiting and the ability to hit all the CS when no one's watching, basically. That's the secret. Because yeah, I can play I Yasuo into you and I can autopilot shove and I can beat you pretty much every game just by spamming abilities at you and pushing. Because I know that even if you kill me three times, I'm going to get so much gold, it's not going to matter. Like, if I know I'm going to get so much more gold than you, that's how I... Like, I do it with Trinomir all the time. I just know I can go into a diamond game 
And I know that just off of pure farm, I'm going to beat most players because I hit my farm. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I felt that playing Aurelia once just because I could queue yep. into every minion. So you have to, in order to play mages, you have to be like a rock and you have to hit all your farm. That was good patience there. Thank you. Now three are dead. So now I would bomb. I hit that tower. I hit that tower. I see Caitlyn mid and three are dead. So who's the last person up? Set. So you uh, see set coming. So yeah, I'd push that. I'd push the tower and then I would get out and try to dodge him. Yeah. Eh, you got to clear the way first. Clear the way first so they're going to see exactly where you go, right? Now we're just ducking the brush. Okay, R away from him. And then uh, R away and press B. You drew him to you and survived. That's all you had to do. You don't have to walk to Narnia, dude. He's not going to chase you forever. He can't see you. Okay. Like, he literally... I mean, look at the minimap. You just have to watch. If he's not chasing you, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Okay. Shadow Flame into Zonius. Uh, do you want me to get him a stopwatch? Yeah, stopwatch book. I love the split pushing thing we've been doing. <laughs> it's like... Nobody I mean, they're not guarding you, so whatever. Cue the whole wave quick. You need to hit more than just the front there. Yeah. Get yourself in line more. You make it harder on yourself because you won't get in formation, for lack of a better term. You're like always on yeah. the sides. Like you, it, it, it doesn't it's help you. Now, uh, being in line with the minions, because uh, I watched the video you did with uh, Legit Korea where he was talking about standing to the side, so the opponent has to choose. Yeah, but that's that's that depends on matchup. Like generally speaking, yes. If you're facing it's like a Lux or something, if it's a, if it's a Lux or something, sure. But what I'm saying is, when you're pushing, you don't want to be in the side. You don't want to be on the sides because it's just it makes it a lot more awkward to clear. I would hit this. I would auto auto auto. Yeah, we can always yeah. R away, and Definitely. it's just Lux. I would R and try to pick her. I would R and try to pick her. Yeah. See if oh, she gives you a charm. Okay. Keep queuing. And I would probably leave now because they're going to spawn. Okay. But you had a window there where you were allowed to try. Elder's up. So I say we uh, we can't reset. Put wards in the jungle as you move to Elder. Okay. Yeah, keep moving quicker. You're going to get caught. They're chasing right behind you. Like You need to be fucking hauling ass. Put a ward down. Keep moving. And then set up in a bush and try to make a charm happen. Get right on the edge like you're looking to pick somebody off. There you go. They spotted you. Ah, oh, they hit that bush. Oh, don't don't panic. Don't panic. She's in that bush next to you. <laughs> She's right in this bush. What did oh. I just see? <laughs> that was so I weird. Crazy, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get Okay. Okay, you got a zone use. I say go mid, go mid and push. Go mid and push. Look at the look at the mini map. Look where the wave is. Go to the wave. R again. You should have R to get there faster. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now remember that you have a stopwatch. If Caitlyn ults you, you're not gonna you're not gonna ult right or you're not gonna zone use right away. You're gonna zone use when the rifle's about to hit you. Okay. Or the shots about to hit you. Take this tower. I take his reset now. I right, press B in this bush. We got out of that one with a win somehow. Same. Didn't expect it. Now let's push top in. Uh, yeah, let's go. I mean, we could get another tower for free. That'd be chill. These guys don't guard towers, so... I mean, this is also why I tell newer players to just split and learn how to get your own farm. Learn how to hit farm and push and duel. Because people just don't... Like, people are so obsessed with being one of the monkeys in the middle, right? And they just... Like, they don't understand. You win the game by breaking towers and getting XP and gold. You don't win games by killing people. Like, you legitimately never go mid and, like, win the game by killing people. You only win the game by breaking the objectives after. It's so there's other ways to view the game. Good, where are you? 
So I would limit test here just to learn. If Caitlyn shows up, I would try to or him. You don't want to you don't want to R into him unless he has a wind wall though, unless you use the wind wall. Okay. But you can definitely like if you see an E, kite back, kite back. All right. Poke a bit. Oh, uh, you got too close. Oh. Yeah, just R way. It's fine. Oh, your Gwen's winning. Camera, camera, camera. Gwen's winning. Camera. Okay, I would R forward. Just R forward twice, and she he's dead. Yeah. Now, yeah, let's keep going. Keep going. Check the map now. Who's alive? Lux and Trundle. Where are they? They're fighting. Right there. Inside. So you're free to push. It's three or dead, right? This is an empty push. Yeah. If it's an empty push, it's probably game. Wow. Their spawn time is forever. Now, if you... Uh, it's a nice try. Let's just run home. Get around the corner of this wall. Just turn the corner hard. Stick your nose into the wall and press B. Yeah. You can throw the ward over the wall without canceling your back, too. Yep. And they won't be able to see it. Now let's uh, buy a uh, void staff and let's get back out there. Top again? Yep. Now all you're going to do is WQ and wiggle around. WQ and wiggle around. Don't waste your E. You need it to defend yourself. Okay. Now we go top and kill Yasuo. Go challenge him. Challenge him to learn. Right. Start by clearing the wave because you can't fight him until the wave's cleared. All right. Kind of kite back and clear. Kite back. Yep. Q again. When, it, when it's up, yep, that's perfect. Q again, Q again, Q again. Spam it and just keep kiting back. Now you are into a mid ignite and wiggle around. Uh, wiggle around, you have ignite and you have zonias. Use it. Use the high wall. Yeah, I'm just letting you. I'm letting you know that you could definitely kill him, but you have to uh, think about these these options here. Okay. Well, he's dead. So think about how ahead this Yasuo was because he. Chased kills around and played like an idiot instead of just staying in lane and pushing. You pushed and you yeah. won anyways. All right, what do we work on today? What are you going to work on? Stopping uh, with my mouse button uh, and then A, left click to uh, kite back from opponents. Uh, not standing on the complete outside of my lane uh, when I'm farming, uh, unless it's whatever. Uh, and then uh, end of the game, uh, just focusing on getting that good farm side sign laning. Yep. Use these techniques for now. You're brand new. Just play the game and have fun, but incorporate these techniques like they're going to save your life. My guy, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm watching an old man.